Hey everyone, here's a quick episode three for the Core XY printer that I'm building. So in the last video, I was actually printing out the um, mounts for the bed here. So I have actually fully assembled this printer and I was printing with it. However, I did run into some issues. Um, if you look back on the previous video, I was using a groove mount uh, E3D V6 clone and uh, I didn't tighten it properly and of course it oozed everywhere and I just had a ton of issues with it. So I decided to go ahead and modify a new tool head for this printer. So what I've done here is I am actually going to be using the Voron Afterburner tool head. So I've already uh, added ears to the ends here so that I can run my belts. Uh, the Voron belts actually normally run through here but I've modified it so that it'll work with my existing belt routing. You can see here it has a really nice built-in placement for the uh, auto level sensor there. It's nice and tucked away. So I've actually printed everything out for this tool head. So I have um, the 4020 fan here with the Voron. Um, it's got all the proper ductwork for proper part cooling. That's another reason why I'm going with this tool head is I wanted to upgrade the part cooling on this printer and I just hate designing part cooling. And Voron's already built this and so it made more sense to modify this. It's a little bit more complex. I still will offer the STL for the normal Dragon hot end, just the, the much simpler version. Uh, the part cooling here is very basic. It just has a 3010 fan on the sides and then just a simple duct that blows over the part. Um, it's not anything fancy. So if people build this printer and they want a simpler tool head, they can use mine. However, I do really recommend the Voron Afterburner tool head. Um, it's an easy build. It's got more screws and things like that, but it's designed very, very well. I am going to be upgrading it with their new Stealth Burner tool head, which comes out here um, probably in a couple weeks. But uh, for this printer, I just wanted to finish it off and I wanted to actually make uh, a really nice tool head um, and have this printer finished so that I can get it off my bench and work on some other projects here. So yeah, that's kind of the update here for episode three. Um, you can kind of see here belt routing and things like that. I, I was very close to basically finishing off this project, but I wanted to print uh, just perfectly. So I ordered a Dragon hot end for this. You can see here, here's the afterburner. They have a very nice um, um, nozzle or uh, the cooling fan here. It's a 40 millimeter fan and it's very nicely designed here to make sure the airflow directs directly over to the uh, hot end. So this is, uh, I'm, I'm just waiting on some heat inserts so I can finish off this and I can have this starting to print. So then I can get this printer off my desk and I can start working on some other, other projects here. So. Um, probably have one more video on this, which will be episode four, and I will show this printer fully assembled printing, and then uh, we can start work on some other projects like uh, my Voron V0 build, as well as uh, a couple other projects that I'm working on, all right? So yeah, that's a quick uh, episode three here for my Core XY, which I call Simple Cube Mini. Again, if anyone wants to build this printer, I do have STLs available on my Patreon. Thanks everyone.